This could be your preteen or teenager's bedroom. Some signs of trouble may seem obvious, but others are not. For example, this is a water bottle any child might have in their backpack, and actually it's, it has a hidden component. A normal candle? It actually is a functional candle, but then underneath is a safe. Susan Foster, a certified substance abuse prevention consultant, says these are the places where drugs may be hidden. This watch actually tells time. But then you unscrew it and it is a grinder for marijuana. The special bedroom exhibit was set up at a community college where law enforcement and other groups offered a variety of resources. Their message, help your child avoid addiction or at least catch it early. Addiction is very dangerous at a younger age, that the minds are still growing, uh, the youth brain is still developing up until um, their mid-20s. This is close home to me. Matt Abbott still considers himself a recovering addict, but 10 years clean and sober. It looks like a normal Sprite can. He recognized this dust-off canister right away. That's what they call a whip it. Inhaled, it can cause a high. Becoming numb to pain or emotions was his goal. But the drug always wears off and the depression and things that follow that are heightened to major levels. Now his mission, as well as others in the room, is to help families avoid the same nightmare. Some youth start using as early as middle school, and so um, it's never too early to start talking about substances. Communication is probably your best defense against teenage drug abuse. Developing that meaningful relationship and trust, it takes a lot of effort, but totally worth it because teen drug abuse can have long-term cognitive and behavioral effects. There are multiple support resources available on how to talk to your teen and how to deal with addiction. Just ask your child's doctor or pediatrician. For HealthLink, I'm Amitia Drisi.